Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is all about Aldi, Aldi, however you want to pronounce it, some Christmas treats, Christmas gifts. I've done quite a few bits of shopping um, but it's not a big haul or anything like that, it's not like a full weekly shop but definitely some really good bargains there at the moment um, and obviously we've got some Christmassy treats and things so some things that you could give as gifts and some things you might just want to keep for yourself so definitely a few bargains to be had. So hi everyone, hope everyone's getting very festive and ready for Christmas. This is actually the very start of our 12 days of Christmas. I really hope you enjoy the next festive 12 videos that we're going to put out on the Brownie Light. All different things are going to be covered in the next 12 days, the next 12 videos, so definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've been watching us for a while, I really hope that you enjoy the next 12 videos, get you into the festive spirit. We've got lots of things covered within these videos, so every theme is slightly different, so I don't think any two videos is going to be the same. So I really hope that you follow us along on the next 12 days of Christmas. Anyone that hasn't watched us before, there is me and also Emily, my teenage daughter, and the people that have been watching for quite some time, you'll already know that. So Emily will definitely be in some of the other videos. So let's just get straight into it. So I have got my trusty receipt here just because I know that I'm going to forget how much things were. I saw these and I thought this would make an excellent gift for the person that I've bought them for, for Christmas. So these are the Boozy Mug Melts and it's Ballycastle, which is kind of the copy of Bailey's, um, but they look excellent. They look so nice. One of the flavours is a Clementine. One is is just the standard cream liqueur and one of them I think two of them might be salted caramel they contain little mini marshmallows inside and um, just drop them in some hot milk and that's it the hot chocolates made so I thought this was a wonderful present for somebody so these I'm not going to give you the 99p on a lot of these things I'm just going to say a straight figure just to make it easy so these were pretty close to four pound and um, so I thought these would make a really excellent Christmas gift I might keep them myself no, definitely a Christmas gift. And then to match that, I found these which were really, really nice in terms of the Ballycastle little miniature drinks. So you've got the, I think it's the blonde, yeah, the blonde cream and the chocolate caramel and then the white. So I think these are all limited edition drinks. So obviously they won't necessarily always do them. And these were six pounds, as I say, just short of it because it actually was five ninety nine, but we'll just call it six. And I think these make an excellent gift because some people that do drink Baileys might really like the copies of Baileys and it obviously is a lot, lot cheaper. I think to get them in a little mini set, I think this makes an excellent gift. So I'm going to pop these two things together to basically make a lovely gift for the person that I'm giving them to. A really, really good buy. Mince pies, 55 pence. I mean, 55 pence, absolutely amazing value. I mean, I think they are only £1.10. I think that they were half price. Um, they do do some other luxury mince pies, but these ones we have had before. We don't usually shop in Aldi. It is a shop that we go to every now and again, but quite a few years back, we did shop there quite a lot, um, and we've definitely had these before. So these make a really excellent Christmas treat, and for 55 pence, I thought this buy was absolutely amazing, 79 pence. Um, you don't necessarily have to have children to like this because as a family, we're definitely going to play it. Look at this, a matching mayhem Disney game. So this is celebrating the Disney 100. And I just thought this was amazing. So you get 36 cards um, and dice. You know, it's, it's a card game, but it does explain on the back. I don't think it's necessarily like a snap. I think it's that you throw the dice and then the first person to pick up the card that matches the dice, I think wins or something, or you get that card and then you keep adding to it. Um, so yeah, it looks a really fun game. So this was 79 pence. So there's definitely some um, really good buys in terms of games and things like that in Aldi right now. But yeah, I thought this makes a perfect gift or just to keep for yourself. So I've got something in mind that I'm gonna do to do with Disney things just in general, and this would make a perfect thing for that. This I thought was just beautiful, 6 99 for this wonderful Christmas welly. They did them in blue as well as red, but I definitely think red is definitely more of a Christmassy colour. And it's something that I have a lot of red in my house for Christmas. So I thought this was just beautiful. So I'm gonna pop this in my kitchen. Get into some savoury snacks now for Christmas. We love tortillas in our house, um, just the lightly salted ones, or Doritos or anything like that. But these salted tortillas were 125 and these turkey and stuffing tortillas were the same, 125. But they're in the shape of Christmas trees. So these ones here add red, green, and then the sort of natural tortilla color. And then these ones are just the normal color, but they're turkey and stuffing tortillas. Granted, I mean, I think they've got a little bit bashed in the bag, trying to get them home. 
but they're still most of them are probably intact and do look like Christmas trees so I thought this was an excellent idea for lovely Christmas snacks at some point some limited edition crinkle cut crisps so we've got some spicy chorizo and turkey crisps £1.15 and then these are the same here um, this seems to say a wa is it wagyu forgive me if I'm wrong I'm probably am uh, like a dripping roast potato flavor never heard of it but it sounds delicious so again as a lovely Christmas treat £1.15 for these crisps and you know they do look like really luxury um, well the, the bags do whether they taste it I don't know comment down below have you ever tried all these crisps especially the specially selected and limited edition let me know in the comments just some boring breadsticks but still amazing value 49 pence when most of the places are definitely charging at least double that for a lot of breadstick type of things but you can't go wrong with breadsticks and crackers and things like that at christmas time can you so now moving on to some chocolate treats just because here in our house what we do is we have a big basket and i put lots of christmasy treats in there so that when we're watching a christmas movie we can get out the treats at that point so i try to separate it from my normal shopping in my kitchen and then that way we do keep the treats for those special occasions and we don't overeat the Christmas treats quite so much. I for one I'm still really cutting down and doing really well in terms of losing weight so I'm only having treats as and when. So starting with these Thornton's chocolates, obviously a lot of these chocolates I'm going to show you, you can buy from any supermarket. It just so happens that I think right now Aldi is either the same or cheaper than a lot of other places. Don't you think celebrations and miniature heroes have gone up in price? I definitely do. Again, comment down below if you if you think that they seem to be really overpriced this year. I can't seem to find anywhere that's doing them, you know, in reasonable cheap deals as such. Um, but anyway, we're gonna grab some celebrations and heroes at some point. But I love Thornton's chocolates. Well, we all do. Um, and I think not getting a massive box, just getting this sort of style um, box, I think is enough. You know, it's a nice treat to dip into when you're watching a Christmas movie or something. 4 49 for these Thornton's chocolates. I thought that was excellent. And my absolute favourites, Ferrero Rocher. Now at Christmas time, we don't tend to buy each other chocolate. We do buy Emily a couple of bits personally just for her. But for all of us, we don't tend to wrap up chocolate as such. Um, so what we do tend to do is, as I say with the basket, pop some things in there. So I tend to get things on offer or just when I see things that I know that I really, really would like, um, put them in the basket and then save them for a nice treat time over Christmas. So Ferrero Rocher, my absolute favourite. I think these were, I already got the prices wrong. The Thornton's chocolates were 4 .99. It's actually the Ferrero Rochers that were £4.50. But still, I don't think I've seen them anywhere else cheaper. So I think Aldi's really good in terms of a lot of the branded things. That's what I would shop in there for. Not always just their own things. A lot of their own things are perfectly, you know, brilliant and great. But I would also shop for a lot of the branded things because a lot of those things you can get cheaper. Not all of the time, but some of the time. Chocolate oranges, another thing. Oh my word, trying to find a chocolate orange as cheap as you did a few years ago. It's never going to happen, is it? Gone are the days where you could get a Terry's chocolate orange for a pound. They're always like £2 now in most places. But these were £1.50. A few places are starting to just drop the prices a little bit. But £1.50 for Terry's chocolate orange. I should have got a few really because they are my favourite. And I'm definitely going to do some Christmas baking with Terry's chocolate orange. Absolutely. Just some basic white chocolate cookies. But these actually look identical to ones that we often get from... Well, I say often. Not that often. But at points from M&S. So these do look really nice, 125. So hopefully they'll taste as nice as what the price is. And then we've got some creme brulee nugget. So a specially selected Italian nugget, 199. I thought this would make an excellent gift for a certain person. Creme brulee nugget sounds amazing, doesn't it? So I thought this looks it looks a really nice gift, and it's not that expensive, and definitely cheaper than some other places out there. Some more little chocolate treats. Popcorn Santas, I thought these sounded really different. Um, so they're filled chocolate, but they've got popcorn pieces. Just bring them a bit closer to the camera. So I thought these were really nice. Um, so these were £1.50, I think. Yep, £1.50. And then just the standard, because it's a given, every time I go in a shop and I see them for a pound. Dairy Milk Little Robins, but actually a lot of places, again, they're a lot more than that. Um, so it's just whenever they're on offer anywhere. Little mini reindeers, Maltesers, again a pound. So some really good bargains on a lot of the branded things for definite. Now talking about branded and not branded, has anyone ever tried 
Comment down below if you have and what you think to them. But the racer bars and the Titan bars. So these are supposed to be copies of Snickers and Mars bars. What do you think, guys? Ever tried them before? Um, I have heard from other people that these are amazing, that these are actually pretty much close, if not potentially even better than the actual originals of Mars and Snickers. Personally for me, I don't think you're gonna beat a Mars and a Snickers because I just don't think you will. However, as I say, I have been advised that these are really, really good. So yeah, comment down below, let us know. And we're going to obviously try them ourselves over the Christmas period. And um, so you get six bars in here. Um, and I think they're pretty much a pound. One pound nine. Yeah, one pound nine for these. But you get six. And they, they do look a little bit smaller. But when I looked at Mars bars and Snickers, the actual bar is only remotely just slightly more grams. And you only get four. And they're obviously a lot more expensive. So these are definitely worth a try. You can't beat some coffee pods if you've got an espresso on a machine. Definitely look out, um, definitely a top tip, look out for lots of supermarkets own coffee pods or any branded products but that are not Nespresso necessarily because they're an awful lot cheaper. We've had Costa, we've had Starbucks, um, we've had quite a few to be honest um, in terms of a lot cheaper than Nespresso ones. But these are the specially selected and these are the um, strong sort of Italian, uh, they are Italian aren't they? Uh, yeah, I, I imagine they are, but anyway, the strong 10 number coffee pods. So I think these um, these should be good, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but even if they're not as good as some of the others, the price of them uh, were pretty cheap. What, 185 So that's pretty good going, really. And then, I'm not quite sure why I'm shaking it all the time, but anyway, I'll have to ignore me shaking the coffee pods. You can't have Christmas dinner without cranberry sauce. So yeah, cranberry sauce here for £1.50. Now, usually, I, I often get um, cranberry sauce from m and um, That's usually my go-to for cranberry sauce and I have had a few others and I think quite a few years ago I think we did have um, Aldi's own cranberry sauce um, but yeah we've gone back to it because I was already in there and I thought it looked really nice and it is a specially selected one so you will notice from a lot of things that I've bought today they are either branded or they're more the specially selected from Aldi because as I said this wasn't going to be a full weekly shop or anything like that or food food this is more to do with little treats and Christmas gifts and things like that. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video I hope it's just giving you a few ideas in terms of what's out there at Aldi so make sure you subscribe to our channel The Brownie Life give this video a big like and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time in fact we'll see you tomorrow see you later everyone bye Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.